Well, hello, my East Providence friends, and welcome back to Mrs. McCarthy's Book Club. I think you're going to love the book that we're doing today, Who Doesn't Love Baby Animals? And this book is called Zoo Borns. It's about baby animals that are born not in the wild, but they're born in the zoo. And this is by Andrew Blyman and Chris Eastland. I'm going to show you a text feature. I'm going to show you the title page as well. You get to see another adorable baby animal. And look at that. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look. I want to point out to you, look at this cute baby elephant playing on it with this little baby toy playing on that ball. Now, as we're reading, you're going to notice across the pages, there's sort of this line of animals, the silhouettes of them, and the animal that we're reading about will be the most prominent. You'll see them the most. They'll be darkened in. Hello there. I am Becco, and I am an Asian elephant. When I grow up, I'll be one of the largest animals in all the land. But these days, I'm happiest rolling around with my big blue ball. Wasn't that fun to see? Wait till you see this guy. Are you ready? Isn't that animal adorable? Anybody think they might know what it is? I think I heard some good guesses out there. Let's see if you are correct. They call me Radar Ears, and I'm a fennec fox. My big ears help me hear yummy insects crawling across the sand. Listen, did you hear that? So that's why Radar has those big ears, to help him find the food he needs. Look at this guy. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Are you ready? Here we go. My name is Minari, and I am a Sumatran orangutan. That's part of the monkey family. Check out my bright orange mop top. There's no such thing as a bad hair day for me. But look at this mop top. Bright orange. But that looks pretty cool for him. And you can see in our silhouette, there he is. Look at this one. Ready? Hello, I am Hoover, and I'm a tawny frogmouth. That's a kind of bird. They call me a frogmouth because of my beak. I can open it really wide. Calling all bugs, it's dinner time. Look at this guy. I'm Kai, and I'm a spotted hyena. Don't be fooled by my puppy dog good looks. We hyenas are more related to cats than to dogs. This is kind of funny. Mom says I'm perfect. Did you get that? Like a cat? Even though he looks more like a dog. You too see this little one. Oh my goodness. Anybody think they know what animal that is? I think I heard it. Ready? Here we go. My name is Amani, and I am an aardvark. One day, I'll grow this extra, all this extra skin, but for now, I think wrinkles rule. Don't you? So look it. As a baby, he's all wrinkled. As he gets bigger, some of those wrinkles will smooth out. Wait till you see this guy. Look at that one. 
I'm Miracle Kitten, and I'm an ocelot. My teeth are starting to come in. Want to see? Ah! Uh, so he opens his mouth wide like he's going to the dentist, and you can see those teeth are starting to come in. He's just a baby. Wait till you see this handsome animal. Look at that. I was kind of scared to be in the camera. Maybe they are a little bit. Here we go. Hi, I'm Hassani. I'm a gorilla. And my name means handsome in Swahili. The zookeepers say my name suits me well. I think so too. So when your name suits you, that means, oh, it kind of fits you. And he is, look at that, very handsome. And that animal will grow quite big as well. Look at these twins. You can hardly tell them apart. Let's see what animals they are. Kelly and Durga here were Bengal tiger twins. So they're tiger twins. We look so much alike. Some Times people can't tell us apart, but we bet you can. I was looking at this earlier, and I think the stripes and the markings on their heads are a little different. That's probably how people can tell them apart. Look at this one. Looking very comfy in that blanket. What do you think? just like a newborn, all wrapped up in a blanket. They call me Ruby, and I'm a kangaroo. What's a gal to do when her fur hasn't grown in yet? Snuggle into this warm, fuzzy blankie. That's what a lot of babies do that. Snuggle into that warm, fuzzy blankie. Look at Ruby. Wait till you see this little one. <gasps> Look at that. My goodness. Let's find out. I'm Tahina and I'm a crown sapaka. When I was born, my mom couldn't take care of me. So for now, the zookeepers do. They gave me this big teddy bear. So cuddly. So mom couldn't take care of it. Look at they substituted this bear. And the sapaka is snuggling up to the bear, just like a baby would do, snuggle right up to a bear. Oh. That looks big for a baby, but I bet you're gonna know why when you find out what kind of animal it is. Are you ready? My name is Monifa, and I'm a pygmy hippo. We pygmies are the smallest hippos around. So if you're a pygmy hippo, you're smaller than the other hippos. But even though I'll always be little, I still have to eat these leafy greens so I'll grow up strong. Mmm. I'm going to give you a clue as I start to read. It says, good day. I'm Atari, a wombat. I come from Australia, where I love to dig in the dirt. Check out the built-in shovels on my paws. So if you look at the paws, look at them. They are like built-in shovels. They love to dig. Oh, look at this animal. I couldn't tell if it was a zebra or a giraffe or, wow, I'd never seen this one before. Let's learn about it. What do you get when you add a zebra's legs to a giraffe's body and then throw in a long blue tongue? 
Me, my name is Kalispell, and I am an Okapi, an Okapi. I, that, I learned about that animal today when I was reading that book. I did not know about that. Look at this one. Any guesses on what you think that animal might be? Let's find out. Hello there. I'm an anteater, otherwise known as a gamondua. I was just born, and my mama hasn't named me yet. Got any ideas for her? I wonder if we could help Mama with the name. Oh, I might say Big Eyes. What might you call him? Oh, I love your ideas. Keep them coming. That was great. Ready? Next one. Look at this. And this is a baby that's really big, too. What do you think that baby is? You're right. That baby is a whale, but it's a special kind of whale. And I'm Bella, a beluga whale. As I get older, I'll turn all white like my mom and dad. But you know what will never change? My smile. Look at that smile. I think he's happy to be in that ocean in that salt water. You know what, Beluga, I'm going to teach you now for, from all this time on, you're going to know one word in Russian. Beluga means white. So Beluga whales are white. And as this whale was telling us, as it gets bigger, it will turn whiter like its parents. So Beluga means white in Russian. So now you know a Russian word. I love that. Wow. I love all those animals. We looked at, if we look at the silhouettes here, we can see all the ones that we looked at. And these were born in zoos. These were animals that were not born in the wild. They're born in zoos. And you can see some of these if you get to go to the zoo. Probably not all of them because they're in different zoos all over the country. But you might get to see a few when you go to nearby zoos. And if you travel, maybe you'll see more in other places if you go to visit family and go to a zoo where they live. So till next time, keep on enjoying the pleasures of a really good book. And always, always try your best. I know you do. Bye, friends, and I'll see you next time.